how to set up open web UI and run any AI large language model LLM chatbot on a DigitalOcean GPU cloud server. First, we'll start off by creating our GPU cloud server installed with our preferred model. To do this, we'll use DigitalOcean's popular one-click install models that come pre-configured by Hugging Face to run on GPU droplets, which is what DigitalOcean calls its GPU cloud servers or GPU VPSs. Once the GPU cloud server has been set up, we'll then create a regular cloud server and use DigitalOcean's marketplace one-click install apps to install Open Web UI. Finally, we'll need to link our GPU cloud server that that we have our model installed on to our Open Web UI server. To do this, in the Open Web UI dashboard, we'll need to add our GPU droplets IP address and the bearer token for Open Web UI to make API requests. We'll then verify the connection between the two, and if they have successfully been linked, Open Web UI will automatically detect the available model from your GPU droplet. You can then begin interacting with your model in the Open Web UI browser interface. Okay, let's start. So first, navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link to DigitalOcean. It will give you $200 in free DigitalOcean cloud credits to try out their servers free for 60 days. I'll put my referral link in the video description below so that you can click on it for your convenience. Once here, you'll need to sign up to DigitalOcean. You can do this by email, your GitHub account, or your Google account. Now, I've already signed up to DigitalOcean, so I'm simply going to click on Sign In. Once you've signed up and signed in, you'll be taken to your DigitalOcean projects dashboard. If you've signed up to DigitalOcean using my referral link, you'll be able to see your free cloud credits at the top right hand corner. Let's start off by creating our GPU cloud server. Click on create and look for where it says GPU droplets. Click on GPU droplets. Begin by choosing your data center region. Click on this drop down arrow. And at the time of recording of this video, GPU droplets, there's only two regions, New York in data center two and Toronto in data center one. I'm going to go with New York data center two. Scroll down until you see where it says choose an image. By default, you'll be on OS, but we need the one-click model. So click on one-click models. Scroll down a bit more until you see select an image with a list of models that you can choose from. At the top, you've got Meta's Llama, Quen, Mixtral, Mistral, New Research, Google's Gemma, and DeepSeek R1. I'm going to be going with DeepSeek R1, so I'm going to click on the circle here to select it. Now, at the time of recording of this video, these are the models available. In the future, I'm sure there'll be a lot more models with different versions. Now, once you've chosen your base model, you have the option to choose the model size. So to the right, inside here of the DeepSeek R1 model that I selected. Currently 61B is selected. Now that's a very large language model, so I'm going to click on the arrow to see a drop-down list, and I'm going to be going with one of the distilled versions, which is a smaller model and can be ran on a single GPU. 61B, you're going to require a lot more GPUs. So I have a choice between the distilled Llama 8B or the distilled Quen 7B. I'm going to go with the Llama 8B model. Once you've selected your model, scroll down until you see where it says choose a GPU plan. At the time of recording of this video, there's only one type of GPU that you can choose from, and that's NVIDIA's H100. If you look further down here, you have two GPU plan options. The first option is eight NVIDIA H100s. You get a lot of power here. This can run the 617B model. A single NVIDIA H100 is more than enough. So I'm going to click on the circle here to select one NVIDIA H100. This plan gives me one GPU, 80 gigabytes of VRAM, 20 vCPUs, 240 gigabytes of RAM, a boot disk of 720 gigabytes NVMe, and a scratch disk of five terabytes NVMe. And this is the price of the GPU that you're going to be paying per hour. Once you've chosen your GPU plan, scroll down until you see where it says add a SSH key for authentication. Now SSH keys are required for authentication. To add an SSH key, you'll need to click on add a SSH key and then you'll need to paste in your public SSH key. Now you might be asking, how do I get my SSH public key? Lucky for you, I've created a step-by-step -step video that shows you exactly how to do this. It will take you step-by-step -step through the process of generating a SSH public and private key pair using PuttyGen to connect to your GPU cloud server and also your regular cloud server. I'll put a link to this video of mine in this video description below and as a card at the top right hand corner of this video. Now once you've pasted in your public SSH key and given your key a name, just simply click on add SSH key. Now I've already added my SSH public key to my DigitalOcean account so I'm going to click on cancel and once you've added your SSH key you'll be able to see it right here from a selection list. Now my SSH public key is called tutorial SSH key so I'm going to click on this box next to it to select it. Once you've added and selected your SSH key, scroll down further all the way to the bottom until you see where it says choose a unique name. This is the name for your GPU droplet. So I'm going to delete what's pre-typed in here and I'm going to call my GPU droplet DeepSeek-Distill 
dash llama dash 8b, which is basically the name of my model. Once you've given your GPU droplet a name, just click on create GPU droplet. DigitalOcean will then begin creating our GPU droplet. I'll be back with you once the GPU cloud server is up and running. It's basically when this progress bar reaches to the end here. All right, I'm back. Our GPU droplet has been created and is up and running. And you know that by the active green status here. The next thing we need to do is create a regular cloud server and install OpenWebUI. To do this, navigate to the very top to the green create button and click on it. At the very top of the dropdown list, you should see droplets, which is what DigitalOcean calls its cloud servers or virtual private servers. Click on droplets. Again, we'll need to choose a region, this time for our regular droplet. Now for the GPU droplet, we went with New York. Let's choose the same region. So I'm going to choose New York again. Scroll down a bit more until you see where it says data center. For the data center, it's currently set to New York data center three. I'm going to click the drop down arrow to pick the same data center as our GPU droplet, which has our model installed on it. So I'm going to go with data center two. Once you've picked your region and the data center, scroll down a bit more until until you see where it says choose an image. By default, OS will be selected, but we need marketplace. Click on the marketplace tab. Once here, click on the search box and type the following open space web UI. Once you've done that, at the very top of the drop down list, you should see the open web UI one click install app. You can also see the Olama with open web UI install app. We don't want this, we just want the app with open web UI only. Click on open web UI to select it. Once done, scroll down until you see where it says choose size. You have a number of options, but for this video, we're going to be going with shared CPU, which is already pre selected, and that's the basic plan. Scroll down a bit further until you see CPU options. You have three options regular, pre premium Intel or premium AMD. I'm going to be going with premium AMD, which is already pre-selected and it has a disk type of NVMe SSD. For running open web UI, I recommend going with the four gigabyte plan, which comes with two AMD CPU cores, 80 gigabytes of NVMe SSD and four terabytes of bandwidth. Now you can pick a plan that's a more appropriate price point for you. However, I do recommend going with the four gigabyte plan. Once you've chosen your plan, Scroll down until you see where it says choose an authentication method. This time you could go with password or the SSH key method of authentication. I'm going to stick with SSH key, which is already pre-selected. And again, I'm going to roll with the same SSH key that I used for the GPU droplet, which is called tutorial SSH key. Once you've chosen an authentication method, scroll down all the way to the bottom until you see host name. Here, you'll need to choose an identifying name for your droplet. I'm going to delete the pre-typed information in here. I'm going to call my normal droplet open dash web UI. Once you've chosen a name, simply click on create droplet. Digital Ocean will then begin installing and setting up open web UI. I'll be back with you once the progress bar reaches to the end here. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, the open web UI droplet is now up and running. And you can see that by the green status symbol here to the left hand side. And underneath, you can also see our GPU droplet, which also has a green status bar. So both our droplets are up and running. Now what we'll need to do is open our web UI server in our browser. To do this, look for your open web UI droplet and look for its IP address, which is right here for me, which is 162.243.107.47. This will be unique to your droplet. To the right, just click on the word copy to copy it, navigate to the top of your browser and open up another tab. Type the following into your browser, HTTP colon slash slash, and then right click and click on paste to paste in the IP address of your open web UI droplet, type colon again and type 3000. This is the port that our open web UI server is accessible from our browser. Once you've done that, hit enter on your keyboard and open web UI will open. Now you might see the logo screen for about five minutes while open web UI is being set up. If this is the case, just be patient. Once you see the following screen, it means you're ready to get started. So simply click on get started. So we'll need to create an admin account. So we'll need to choose a name. So I'm going to call myself Websplaining. For my email, I'm going to go websplaining123 at gmail.com. And for our password, well, I'm not going to tell you, but it's going to be that. Okay, so once you've chosen the details for your admin account, simply click on create admin account. Open Web UI will then log you in. Again, if you see a black screen like this, don't worry, just be patient. Open Web UI will eventually log you into your admin account. I'll be back with you once Open Web UI logs us in. All right, I'm back. Open Web UI has now logged us in as we are first greeted by the release notes. Close out of the release notes to be taken to the main dashboard. Now, what we'll need to do is link our GPU droplet, which has our model installed, to our Open Web UI droplet. To do this, navigate to the top right hand corner corner to your open web UI profile picture and click on it. Once done, click on settings. In settings on the left hand side, look for where it says admin settings and click on admin settings. At the top left, look for where it says connections. Click on connections. At the top, you can see it says open AI API and underneath that you can see Olama API. We're going to be dealing with the open AI API. Underneath where it says manage open AI API connections, you'll see a link. Click on the text box. Delete all the pre-typed information in this text box. Go back to your DigitalOcean data 
dashboard and copy the IP address of your DigitalOcean GPU droplet. My GPU droplet, of course, is called DeepSeek Distill Llama 8B, and the IP address is 107.170.36.191. So I'm going to click on copy to copy it. Go back to your Open Web UI admin panel tab and type the following into the text box. Type HTTP colon slash slash, right click and click on paste to paste in your GPU droplets IP address, type slash again, and then type V1. Now look to the right hand side to where it says API key and click on the text box. In here, we'll need to paste in our GPU droplets bearer token. To get the bearer token of our GPU droplet, we'll need to go back to our digital ocean tab here and we'll need to click on our gpu droplets name once done look for where it says web console which is to the right here and click on the web console button a new browser window will then open and log you into your gpu droplets ssh terminal in the terminal window look for where it says bearer token and directly underneath is a bunch of characters which is your bearer token so i'm going to left click and highlight all of these characters i'm going to right click on the highlighted text and then i'm going to click on copy to copy it you can now minimize the terminal window go back to the open web ui admin panel and in the API key, right click and click on paste. This will then paste in your bearer token that you copied from the terminal. Now all that's left to do is to check the connection between our GPU droplet and our open web UI droplet. To do this, click on the configure icon to the right here. A small window will open which says edit connection. Look for the refresh icon which is to the right of the URL which contains your GPU droplets IP. Click on the refresh icon to verify the connection. At the top right, you will see server connection verified which means your GPU droplet containing your model has now been successfully linked to your open web UI droplet. Click on save to save the connection details. You'll then receive a message which says open AI API settings updated. Now we don't actually need the Olama API information. So all you need to do is click on the green toggle here to disable the Olama API and this will update your settings. Once you've done all of this, you can simply navigate to the bottom right hand corner and click on save. This will update all the connection settings that you have just made. Open web UI will now auto detect our model from our GPU droplet. Let's check this and begin interacting with the model. To do this, navigate to the top left hand corner and click on these three vertical lines. Click on new chat. And now if we look to the right here, you can see that the model from our GPU droplet has been picked up and it says DeepSeek R1 colon 8B, which is the distilled Llama 8B model. Let's interact with DeepSeek. So in this text box here, type your message. So I'm going to type, how big is the sun in earth size terms? And then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. And there you go. DeepSeek will then give me my answer, which it says the sun is about 100 times larger in diameter and a staggering 1,000 times larger in volume. And because this is a DeepSeek model, it also gives you the reasoning process in the think tags of how it came up with this answer. Great. So we've successfully interacted with our LLM. And that pretty much concludes this video on how to set up OpenWebUI and run any AI LLM chatbot on a DigitalOcean GPU cloud server. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below below and most importantly of all subscribe to support the channel i'll see you on the next video Why is it so